In this video we're going to look at the sectioning or full sectioning of an object which uh, we looked at in one of our previous videos. Now there are various videos on YouTube as to why we section but primarily we look at a section drawing as if we're slicing this in, in half in this case. So if I take a line through there and I put a piece through there and I say what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line, a knife through this object, and so I'm only looking at the back of it. So this is my section plane indicated here, and I'm going to look at what's behind the section plane. Now, the main reason we do that is so that we, we can see what's inside the object, and many times the hidden detail, if we'd put this on with hidden detail, not a section view, would be very, very confusing. Now, through the perspective of this, this is a flange. It's got four holes, okay? We looked at that in a previous video. It's got this raised section. It's got a hole all the way through. So we're going to section it. In this case, it's going to be a full section. The next video is going to be a half section. What I've already done is to indicate that this happens to be 10 millimeters thick. This happens to be 40 millimeters high. Now, I'm just going to check, okay, that's 40 millimeters between there and there, and that's going to be another 10. If I was to cut this in half, what I would be seeing is, and I'm just going to place a small sketch over the side here, is that just in a, a small view like that, I'd be seeing an object with a hole in it. Comes down through there. Okay, it would then reach a center point, and I'm just going to sketch that in. This would be the back of it. Now, a little bit out of size there. So we're looking at that coming across to there. We're looking at that. We're looking at the hole going all the way through. Okay, so that then you would see coming across to this side here, you'd have a hole going all the way through. Now, it's lost a little bit of its scale. And there may be a few lines missing there. I'm just going to go over this in a slightly blacker line just using a biro so that we have this unit looking like this and just it's like this is just like a concept sketch to me as to what it's going to look like i've got this curve behind you know it's been cut in half okay we've got this line coming down here and the hole that goes all the way through now line there line there not everything lines up perfectly we can see that quite obviously but um and we have this and it goes down to that point uh, that would be a curve That's about what it would look like. And so that's a typical section view of the object. Now, what we're going to do is introduce the section lines going through here. Right? And wherever a surface is cut, you indicate that with these lines going through here. So this is just a sketch. And because all of these belong to the same component, all the cross-section lines, the hatching lines as we call them, they all go in the same direction. They're all about four to five millimeters apart in your real drawing. Okay, so that's just a rough sketch of what this would look like when we give it a full section. As I said, the next drawing is going to be a half section. We can obviously see the back of the hole so that they don't have the cross-section lines. This is the back of the hole. It doesn't have a cross-section line. Right, so what we're going to do is just lay this out on our orthogonal drawing here. So we've only got about a few minutes to do this. 
first thing I'm going to do is I've got these lines rejected. Okay, here is the top part going from here to here. So I've got a line across here. This is the bottom of it coming straight down. And that's going to go from there to there. Do this opposite side at the same time, there to there. All I'm doing is looking down, looking across, coming down, looking across. You do have to bear in mind that when we are doing some of these drawings, we do make mistakes and we simply correct them. Okay, so that follows that idea. Okay, we're going to firm that in on this side. Firm it in on this side. Okay, this is straight down. This is straight down. Now, remember I said this, once this is cut, this line going to the center has disappeared. So I'm going to draw the hole in now and I might just spin my ruler around. Okay, I'm going to put the hole in. Hole goes all the way through. We don't have to concern ourselves with that. We agreed with that prior on the other video. The hole goes all the way through. You can see I've already put my center line in. So that this is the hole going all the way through. This is the hole, this is the hole. Okay, correlate all those pieces. This comes down, this comes down. Okay, this is coming through here. So we're going to put that one in. So in this full section view, we're looking at this. We're looking at this side of the hole. Coming across to this side. And I'm just, I can realize that there is a point there. There and there. Some of you quite rightly would be thinking, what happens to the hole at the back? This hole here. Why doesn't it appear in this part of the drawing? It's because in this instance, what we're only interested in is the section. We're only interested in looking at this part. This hole which you can't see here, these holes here, they may have stopped halfway through. And so what that would be is a different situation altogether. So that if the hole stopped halfway through, this would stop, this would come across here. If this hole stopped halfway through, okay, it would be a different scenario. And what I'll do is I'll sketch that at the end as to how that may appear. However, in this instance, we don't include the hole at the back because we're only interested in the section view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going, these, most of these sections are run at about 45 degrees. Now I can use my roll rule. However, in many instances, all we're going to be doing is just running a neat 45 degree line through here. And we're just going to estimate the gap about four to five mil. Running it through all the way. Along here and some of you will realize well that's the other side of the hole okay little mark there come down a little bit further and that takes up this part also at the same time it's about right as you can see just trying to keep it neat. Each one of those lines goes through. And we just continue with that section line going all the way, all the way across our unit of work. Okay. 
probably go into this part here. And that gives us a reasonable idea of the cross section, the full cross section of this unit. The only thing that's missing is these center lines. So I'm going to pop those in now. They lie directly below. I've already extended those down. So here we have a center line. Here we have the center line for this unit, these holes here. And with a few minutes to go, I can just put on this top view. And under this, I would put a uh, section view. AA. And the reason, I'm just going a little bit backwards here, AA. I would label that as A. That'll as A. Now, this is our section plane going through here, and I explained that earlier. That is A, that is A. That's a section view AA. So we're looking at it from this direction. We're looking at the back of it like this, so that this would be, I pencil that across there, pencil that across there. Okay. That's A. That's A. So that that is the direction of the section plane. Now, earlier I said that this may these holes may not go all the way through. If that was the case, and we've only got a few minutes to go on this, so I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'm just going to try and sketch this below. If the holes weren't to go all the way through, we could say, right, this is the bottom of it. Okay, we're having a sketch around here. Okay. <laughs> this is the top of it coming down come down okay that comes to there comes to there but a hole through here hole through here and we're going to stop that hole and if we had the hole at the top and that happened to stop and is it, if it was put in place by a drill or something like that um, that may be pointed okay that would go like that we'd have a hole there a hole there and we're going to say this top one stops what it would look like is and it's again just a very quick sketch it would look something like this now this is not what you've been asked to do we've been asked to do a full section just on that assuming the hole goes all the way through Again, this has lost a little bit. Okay, this hole here might stop. Sorry, that should be curved at the back. That would be line all the way across. And if that hole was drilled down, there's every chance it would look like that. That would look like that. That would come into there. Right, uh, that's in place. That's in place. That's a curve. That's a curve. Right, uh, that's a line. That's a line. Okay, so that the section view, if that hole didn't go all the way through, these holes didn't go all the way through, right, uh, what that would look like is that. So that this. would appear something like that. Now, again, this is a full section showing that the holes go all the way through. This is a full section sketch as if the holes didn't go all the way through. Okay. However, in this instance, right, we're not looking at that, but that's just simply a sketch to show what the section, what the section view, AA, would look like if it was indicated somewhere on the drawing that the holes didn't go all the way through. Next one we're going to do is a half section view.